Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here with the video. Uh, first off, sorry about my lighting. I am in my actual craft room because I've cleaned it up enough to use it, but the lighting is not very good. Anyways, um, let's get started. So this is a junk journal, obviously, that I have completed using a kit from Carolyn's Craft Tree. It is my second design team project. My first one was using her little um, people. I have one and I did some cards with it so these are super cute and I was actually thinking about incorporating some of these into the journal but it didn't work or I shouldn't say it didn't work I didn't end up doing it um okay so I have used a reader's digest book which I haven't done in a while and I enjoy doing that and the other thing that's different is I used the hidden hinge binding which I also have not done in a very long while um and then I pulled out my stickers and I wrote the word journal and then I added stickers here and I added some um, like a plastic trim and one of the rhinestones fell out but I will replace it. I just um, had just noticed it before I went to video. And then I have some vintage black photo corners on the edges. I left the spine as it is because I like the, well because it's a hidden hinge, I like the idea of it can be on a bookshelf and you wouldn't know it's a junk, a junk journal. And then the back is just plain. Well, now with some red glitter, but it's just plain. So let's go inside. I have a label here so that you can write your name or whatever you want, the date you start and finish the journal. Some lace on the bottom. I did buy this lace specifically for um, the next couple of journals I was going to do. So. You also saw me use it in my journal for Lynn. Um, anyways, so I have some washi on the side. And then I get started with the kit. And this is also some trim I just bought and I, and I love it. Um, so yes, this is just the kit. It all comes in, it all comes in this kit. Um, the ephemera then pages. This is some wrapping paper. It is vintage. I just included it to write on. A little envelope. There's nothing in it. Because this journal is fairly large, um, I have, unfortunately, a fair bit of space and pockets. I mean, I could actually put some of the slides in it. That's what I could do. I have them cut out. Um, a fair bit of pockets and stuff that aren't full, but some homemade paper tape or washi tape made from napkins, beet dyed paper, vintage paper. This is from a um, a book that I had, so I just used it for writing. Um, a little collage I did, vintage stamp, coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed book page, it's in German, some trim on the top of that page, vintage wrapping paper, so as you can tell when I start using something up <laughs> I want to keep using it so um, I will, be, I used it in my last journal and I'll use it in my other journal just because I'm trying to use things up. But, so yeah, that's the wallpaper that I've been using. This is actually for the slides that she provides in the kit, but I just used them as embellishments because I liked them. Um, this is an extra page I printed off, so I just folded it up and put it in the glossine envelope. This is, this is not hers. This is mine. Um, it's a tuck spot. It's made from a vintage handkerchief. And I know lots of people are, some lace on the edge, lots of people are doing that lately. I have actually been doing things like that for a while, but um, that is one that I just scanned in. Um, these are vintage die cuts. They're from Germany. A coffee dye paper that I made. This is just a um, piece of paper that I sewed lines onto for writing. 
more book page, napkin, um, guest book page, center of the signature, another pocket from the kit, another coffee dyed paper that I made. Um, this I did with paint. And it just looks cool. Um, a piece of ephemera and then I backed it with coffee dyed paper. I just used a glue stick so it's not perfectly smooth um, but you can still write on it. Just a little belly band that I made with the paper cut off. This is something I embossed with a Tim Holtz embossing folder. It's pearlized paper and it's so pretty. So you can add pictures in here. It's a bit textured so you could write on it but it wouldn't be super easy. So you'd have to add um, like paper to it or a picture. Another tuck spot on top. Um, these are just plain tags. I can add toppers to them. Um, leftover paper that I had, so I just decorated that bag with that. This is, oh, open on the side. Vintage doily with an envelope. There's nothing in it. And it's just paper clips so you can move it. Okay, well, that folds out, but I'm just going to try and get moving here. Um, more vintage paper, vintage lace, this back page is not from the kit, it's um, something I had, more wrapping paper and an envelope. This one I just made into a pocket, so I added that, index card. A napkin on an index card. Some tags that I made. And the seam binding is vintage and so are the reinforcements. So. As you can tell, I have a lot of vintage stuff and that's what I like to use, a napkin. Another collage piece I made, flower that I added. This is backed as well on coffee dyed paper. Yeah, one thing about having a clean craft room is, and crafting in my regular craft room, is I use different things. Um, another page I made. Uh, than I do when I craft in my room that I do mixed media in. This is just a booklet I made with some cut off coffee dyed paper that I had from a project that I did quite a while ago. More washi tape, another guest page, napkin, just a tag that I made. This one is not backed. Most of them are backed. I might back that one yet. I'm not sure. Um, napkin. I love that napkin. Somebody sent it to me. This purple page here is because my printer was out of ink and I thought it was cool so I left it. Because it's kind of a fairy. Well it is a fairy themed journal. Not kind of. More trim. Like I've mentioned before, I dye my, all my own paper. Another cluster on the glassine bag. This one, the lines printed the wrong way, but I liked it, so I also used that. I just thought it added interest. That 
wrapping paper again. It's so pretty. And the library pocket that I added some of the, the paper to and then oh my goodness it comes out a library card and I believe those are vintage as well and then lace on the bottom. Okay and so yeah that is the journal it's two signatures Reader's Digest hardcover book and it is for sale. Um, it will be $40 shipped um, if it ships within the USA. Anywhere else I do have to check shipping. Uh, I know that's strange because I live in Canada but it's still cheaper for me to ship to the States. Um, so yes $40 shipped if it's going to the US and I will link Carolyn's craft tree below. So please go ahead and check her out. She has some really wonderful things in her shop printables and otherwise. And the other thing is if you watch this long there is a 600 subby giveaway coming up. So if you are a subby and have been for a while um, please watch for that. And if you're not a subby please go ahead and subscribe. Anyways any questions or comments leave them below. Thank you so much for watching.